Hey, this is Mr. Ward. I'm doing a quick video key. If you hear chickens in the background, that's because my son has a bunch of chickens in his Minecraft game. Um, so I want to illustrate a couple things before I uh, address some of the questions. Number one, did you know that you could put random words in the testing out quizzes and hit submit? That way you could have done the first three or four questions. And if you run out of time, you could submit it. Google will send you a copy of your Google form so you can start off where you left off instead of having to start all over again. I know a few of you have been starting all over again every class. So those copies do sometimes go to your spam folder. So check there if you can't find them. But really, you can just write banana on all the stuff you didn't get to and come back to it and pick up where you left off. So um, hopefully that will give you a little freedom. Also, <clears throat> some of you... Uh, may be finding it aggravating to be doing all your math work on a computer. You have the option of printing it out or just doing it on paper uh, and sending me a photograph of your work. Just, you know, let me know if that's what you're going to do and uh, make sure that it's clearly labeled and you're, you're good to go. So here we have this equation, y minus 4 equals 3 fifths times x minus 2. This is in the point-slope form, which says y minus a known y value from a point on the line equals the slope of that line times x minus a known x value from that same point on the line. So this 2 is, you know, this 2 and this x minus 2 is a an x value on a point on the line, and this 4 is the y value for that point as well. So there is a point at 2 comma 4 on that line. <clears throat> now, uh, if we are... Uh, trying to find a graph, trying to graph this line, we can take that point to four and we can use the slope, okay, to get some other points. So since the slope is three, five, we can take that point and we can just say, okay, four plus three, because that's the vertical change, and two plus five, because that's the horizontal change. So that becomes the point seven, comma, Seven. And of course, you could go the other way. Instead of a rise of three and a run of five, you could do a fall of three and a backtrack of five. And you could say two minus the horizontal change of five that you get in that denominator, and four minus the for the vertical change of three. And then you end up with two minus five, which is negative three, and four minus one, which is one. So now you got three points you can work with. So if you found those points, 7, 7, and negative 3, 1, you nailed it. You can use one or both of those and 2, 4 and a ruler or a straight edge to graph your line. Now, on this one, 2a, we can find two points for 5x plus 6y by replacing x with 0 and finding what y is, replacing y with 0 and finding what x is. So that will give us our x and y intercepts. So... We'll start off with getting the x-intercept. So I'm going to say I'm going to replace y with 0 because that's what y is at the x-intercept. So we actually know what a value is on the line. And we can solve this. 5x equals 60. x will equal, equal 12. So we'll have a point at uh, one of our points will be at 12, comma 0. Okay? And you might notice that that 12 came from 60 over 5, okay, which was this 5 as a denominator to 60. So 60 over 5 got you the x-intercept, which means that 60 over 6, by the way, will get us the y-intercept. Because if x is 0, okay, if x is 0, we're going to say 5 times 0 plus 6y equals 60, and then we're going to solve for y. So now I've got 5 times 0 plus 6y equals 60, and I can just ignore 5 times 0. So it's just 6, sorry, 6y equals 60, and so y will equal 60 over 6, which is just 10. So you'll have another point at... 0, 10. So there's the y-intercept. So you have two points. All you need, and here they are, 12, 0, and 0, 10. All you need is a straight edge 
and or a ruler to you plot those points and then you graph that line. Now, we want to get the slope. Here's what we do. We take these two points and you decide whichever point you're going to start with. I'll start with this point for my subtraction and my I'll deal with the change of y, 0 minus 10, so 0 minus 10. And the change of x, 12 minus 0, minus 0. That's the most amazing 12 you've ever seen, isn't it? OK, that's a 12, really. OK, 12 minus 0. And that's going to equal negative 10 over 12, which simplifies to negative 5 over 6. OK, you might remember where we might have seen a 5 and a 6, however, uh, a second ago. I'll put that in here. So the slope will equal negative 5 over 6 for that line. You might have noticed that there was a 5 and a 6 in the equation. It turns out that in the standard form, there is there are some cheat codes. OK, and I'm going to remind you what they are if you haven't dealt with them yet. So if you have AX plus BY equals C, that's the standard form general structure, uh, the slope is going to be negative A over B. This, whatever this number is, and this number, whatever this B is. So we say negative of that number over whatever B is will be the slope. And you'll also have an x-intercept, which will be at c over a, comma, 0. And you'll have a y-intercept at 0, comma, c over b. And you get that, that c and that a and that b. You get them right there from the structure of this equation. Whatever is the coefficient of x, the thing that's multiplied times x, is a, whatever the the thing that's multiplied by b, that's the um, multiplied by y, that we call that b, that's the coefficient of y, that we call that b, and whatever it all the these two products add up to is c, and that is called the constant coefficient. So the coefficient of x is a, coefficient of y is b, and the constant coefficient is c, and these are your cheat codes. I hope that helps, and I'll stop.